Hey, what's going on guys? It's Zexus, the YouTube superhero, and in today's video, I'm here to show you guys how to create an intro for free for any of your videos, YouTube videos, or whatever, how to create an intro for free. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so what you guys just saw there is the intro that I just created using this method and what you'll learn how to do in this video. So as you can see, the intro was pretty high quality and it was pretty, you know, it was decent. It was okay. So how did we do it? All right, let's get on into the tutorial. So first thing, you're going to want to go to blender.org. I'll have link down in the description down below. Blender.org, you can click this download button or you can go to the download tabs based on what operating system. Here you'll find your download. So once you download the file, open it up, there'll be an install wizard, setup wizard, whatever you want to call it, and the program will eventually open. So here we go, we're in Blender. So if you're looking at this, you're going to be all confused. You're going to have no idea what any of this is, you're, if this is your first time on here. So let's make it easier for ourselves. Let's go on to Google, YouTube preferably, because YouTube's easier, and let's just search um, you know, like top 10 best blender intros or cool blender intro template. We want to find a template here on YouTube or somewhere on Google that's obviously free. And you can find videos that'll list a bunch of different templates in them and just go through one, find one that you like. So I found this one I like, number eight here on this video. So I want to go down to the description. You can see his links will either be in the description or he'll give a link to his links. So his link was to his links on a Google Doc. Here we have number eight. So I would download this, which I already did. So I'm not going to do it in this video. Um, so here it is. You need WinRAR or 7-Zip to open up these files. And as you can see here, let me just close down all of this. Oh my, okay, I have a lot going on. All right, so here we have the, the template zip, but we need to extract this. So we're just gonna extract it onto our desktop. So you can just click and drag it, which I'm not gonna do because I already have it on my desktop. So basically just remember where you extract this to, all right? So we're gonna go back in the Blender. We're going to go File, Open, and it's easiest to put extract to your desktop because as you can see in blender right here there's a desktop button so now i'm on my desktop look at this the first thing on here chill template so i want to double click on that here's my dot blend file that's in that template so let me click on that and it loads up the template so here we go now we have the template we have the intro loaded up in here but we just need to change the text that way it's customized to us so how you do this is you just want to put your mouse cursor over the text like I am right now, right click on it, and as you can see, a little orange yellowish highlight is around it. You're going to hit tab, and it should be right if there's a little white margin next to the last letter. Once that little white margin's there, just backspace as many times as needed, and then type in whatever your name is. So as soon as you're done typing that in, press tab again. Now if you have two layers of text like I do in my intro here, you're just going to do the same thing. Right click, tab, backspace as many times as needed, type in your text. So there you go, it was that easy. But here's the thing, you might need to you know, go with throughout your entire intro to see because as you can see in my intro, the text gets scrambled up right here and it forms into a new text. So obviously it would be bad if I rendered it out and there was this name part at the end. So basically, same thing. We just want to right click on it, press tab, backspace as many times as needed, type in our name, and then press tab again. Then right click on the next text, tab, backspace as many times as needed, and type in our name. And there we go. That's it as far as editing the template. So now what you want to do is over on this right hand side, there's this little camera button here. And you just want to press on this camera button and you want to go down to output. And this is where your intro will be saved to. This is wherever you have the file selected. Here you can change the file format, um, the resolution, which I recommend having at 1280, 720. Um, and th that's about it. So next, what you want to do is you want to hit animation. 
animation once you press this animation button it'll start rendering out the template i'm not going to hit it because i don't want my computer to slow down and whatnot as i'm trying to record so there you have the option between render and animation they'll both do the same job renders faster but it's lower quality animation is slower but it's higher quality so i would recommend doing the animation so based off of how fast your computer is you know the times vary but it should take about a half an hour to 45 minutes if you're on an average computer so that's how you make an intro template and or an intro for your YouTube channel based off of a template using Blender for free. And I think that, you know, these intros are pretty good and you can find better ones than what I have. So if you guys found this video helpful, remember to hit that like button. And if you want to stay up to date with the content that I have, make sure you subscribe. I make videos basically to help smaller YouTubers grow and get bigger or helpful tutorials like this one. So if you want to stay up to date with that kind of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. As always, guys, peace out.